Today we're playing Pauper, Two Land Spy, thanks to Generous Scent from Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, and I think that that card is going to make this deck both more powerful and more consistent. Let's go take a look at today's deck list. How does Pauper, Two Land Spy work? Well, it's based around Value Street Spy, and if you're unfamiliar with this card, it's basically four mana and mill your library, assuming that you don't have any lands left. In Legacy, they play no lands. Here in Pauper, we actually have to play a couple. So we have cards like Land Grant, Abundant Harvest, and then the recently printed Generous End to search our lands out. We have one Basic Forest and then one Haunted Mire as our land suite. So the idea is that you search these lands out, you play your value straight spy, and then you deck yourself. And now you can create an infinite loop, assuming that you have a Conjurer's Bobble in play or a Songs of the Damned in hand and a black mana to cast it. From there, you put Conjurer's Bobble, draw the songs, cast songs, and now it's going to make 23 plus something mana. You then can flashback, crawl from the cellar, get back Pit Keeper. That will get the Demir House Guard. You sacrifice the Pit Keeper, which will trigger Grim Harvest. And then from there, you get Mirror Retriever, Conjurer's Bobble, and you create a loop. And with the Conjurer's Bobble, you get songs, and then you keep on doing this over and over and over again using the Grim Harvest. And then you have the Sacrifice Outlet from Demir House Guard so that you can always use the Recover Cost. Eventually, you make infinite mana, and you can Value Straight Spy to deck your opponent slowly. And I say slowly because it's so many clicks on Magic Online. And in order to get around that, today we're playing a single copy of Haunted Misery in our main deck. So that way we don't necessarily need to do the infinite loop over and over. Instead, we can exile 24 or 25 creatures from our graveyard and deal that much damage to our opponent in one swift action. So it's going to be a little bit more fun that way. If you're playing in paper, you don't need the Haunted Misery because you can shortcut your infinite loop. When you're playing on Magic Online, Shortcutting is not an option, so I think that you probably want the Haunted Misery. If I was playing in paper, I would probably run an extra Wild Cantor instead. In the sideboard, we have Pyroblast for blue decks, Ingot Chewer for Graveyard Hate, and then additional copies of Haunting Misery. Why is this card good in post-board games? Well, theoretically, you could cast Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, build up to 7 mana, deck yourself, and then before your opponent has priority, you just exile all the creatures in your graveyard and deal them lethal damage before they could use a Nile Spell Bomb or Relic of Progenitus or anything like that. Basically, that's how the deck functions, but I really think that Generous Ent providing consistency for finding your lands is the big difference maker in today's video. Previously, we only had Land Grant and Abundant Harvest, and there would be some games where you just couldn't thin both of the lands out of your deck, and it was a huge problem. Having 12 ways to thin those lands out is going to be huge, and it's going to make the deck more consistent and ultimately more powerful, because it's a creature, which means that now you have more creatures to put in your graveyard for Songs of the Damned. It's super, super good. I'm excited for today's video. Let's see uh, how it goes. I'll see you in the first round. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round. We're on the draw and we've opened up a pretty amazing hand in my opinion. We're going to keep this. So we have land grant to get our first land and then we have generous end to pull out the second. We already have an oops card with destroy the evidence. Looks like our opponent's on a blue deck though. So game one might be pretty tough unless they tap out for some reason. While Cantor, we will play the land grant while we can. Let's go get the basic forest. And then we will Generous End. Pulling out the Haunted Mire, pass the turn. So both lands are out of our deck now. We just need to get to the point where we can destroy the evidence, floating a single block for Songs of the Damned into a win. They play a gate. They choose blue both times. Ooh, that was a good draw. So that actually gives us a faster win. Let's hope that our opponent taps out here. 
Come on, opponent. Tap out. What's the worst that could happen? Preordain. It seems like a really good time to play a Squadron Hawk, in my opinion. Just my two cents, like, Squadron Hawk would be very good here. Alright, so, I mean, it's a tap land, so I guess we're playing around Spell Pierce. And is that a card that I'm okay just jamming into? We'll start by cycling Street Wraith. Dark Ritual? Come on. Let's see it. Another land grant doesn't help. Okay, so I could go... Actually, I don't think we can go off here. This doesn't work. So I'll play the Wild Cantor. And we'll just attack. So you might be looking at this game going, well, Bryant, you drew an extra Generous Ent and an extra Land Grant. Maybe you should play more lands. That has been something that's come up in previous videos. I've actually recorded this deck three, four times in the past. And I don't think that's actually true. Um, basically, I think that's a pretty big trap. Because you can't win if lands get stuck in your deck. And there's games where you really struggle to clear them. So now they're keeping open Counterspell Mana. We missed our window last turn. I needed to draw into a Dark Ritual. Oh, I was supposed to cycle the Generous Scent there, but I guess I drew Dark Ritual. We'll attack for two. Let's crawl from the cellar to get back the Street Wraith. Cycle the Street Wraith. I go to 16. Conjurer's Bobble. This might actually be good. If our, We might be able to beat a single Counterspell with the Conjurer's Bobble depending on what our opponent does. They cycle on Ash Barrens. They play an untapped island. Cast into the fire. Well, that hurts. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice. Sacrifice. We'll cycle the Generous Scent. We don't have a land to get. I just need this Generous Scent in the graveyard. Cast into the fire was kind of brutal there. Okay. Take our draw. Another Conjurer's Bobble. Interesting. Attempt a dark ritual. They had the spell pierce, so that one turn window we uh wanted to go off, it looks like they might have had the answer that turn. So maybe we got lucky that they didn't have it. We'll play another conjurer's bobble and just pass. Alright, they have a vector glider, four cards in hand. Okay, so they have three unknowns at the moment. Preordained. So they're keeping up counterspelled by the looks of it. Yeah. They put two cards on top. So if they let the Songs of the Damned resolve, we could beat a Counterspell here. I want to play out the Lotus Petal first to make them less likely to Counterspell Songs of the Damned. And now we'll play a Spy. They know that we have destroyed the evidence in hand. We want this to resolve. Okay, that's unfortunate. So they have three cards. So if I spike a Cabal Ritual or Songs off the Bobble, I could win here. So let's put, I don't know, uh, Songs on the bottom of my deck. Unfortunately, we drew a Generous End. We'll shuffle. Pass the turn. They play a Brainstorm, which is a little interesting. Last turn, they didn't actually search out Squadron Hawks. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. They just didn't. Uh, they had one in the graveyard and chose not to search out the other two. And then this turn, they played a Brainstorm. All right, so they have a non-fetch land. They do play a Hawk this time. Maybe I'm wrong and they searched out one, but I don't think I'm wrong. That's another Hawk. They're still representing Counterspell Mana here with two cards in hand. Really hoping I draw a Cabal Ritual or Songs of the Damned. We have eight hits. 43 cards in deck. Abundant Harvest, non-land. Might as well play out the Lotus Petal, I guess. Pass. You might be saying, why not draw a card with the Conjurer's Bobble? I actually need that in play to win the game, so I can't just use it for the sake of drawing a card. They're attacking for 10, so I'm going to go to 3 here. So This is my last turn to possibly win. Okay, part of the cards. I can go to 1. Cycle. Cannot cycle this. Ugh, unfortunate. I guess we'll just put a random card on the bottom and draw. Not that it matters. Another destroy the evidence. Okay, we have lost game number one versus Caw Gates. I think we would have beaten a non-blue deck this game, but unfortunately our opponent had counter spells. So we're going to bring in Pyroblast and the Wooded Ridgeline. 
It looks like most lists, according to MTG Goldfish, are not playing Relic, so we're not going to bring in the Ingot Chewer, but we do need to find out some find some cards to cut for these Pyroblasts. Usually I like boarding down a couple copies of Cabal Ritual versus Control decks just because the matchup's not all about speed. So we can board out a few of those. And then maybe we shave a few copies of like Land Grant and Generascent going down to 24 creatures. Land Grant's a little tough in these matchups just because one, you have to reveal your hand and two, they could just counterspell it. Let's try actually two Land Grants and leaving all four Ents for that reason commit this i would like to be on the play yeah this seems delightful keep we're going to start off by cycling the street rates just because if i draw into a land i want to save the simian spear guide as a resource so we'll cycle street wraith and again down to 14 life tender wall we will exile the simian spear guide whoops and then we will cycle the generous end here, I think we want the Haunted Mire because the Tinder Wall can make red. All right, they play a tap land. We'll draw. Songs of the Damned was an amazing hit. However, we only have one land out at the moment. So let's play Wild Cantor because if one eats removal, I'd rather it be Wild Cantor than the Tinder Wall. And they're just going to pass with Counterspell Mana open. We drew both Destroy the Evidences two games in a row. There's only the two. There's not four of that card. Ah, uh, a little bit unlucky there. Then post-combat, we'll cast a Tinder Wall. We will sacrifice the Wild Cantor for a block. So, I think we're just going to pass here. You could, like, be a crazy person and destroy the evidence your own land, or a Balustrade Spy, but I don't think that's actually the right move. Once again, they're leaving open Counterspell Mana. Another Spy. Pass the turn. We only have six spy effects in the deck, so this draws a little bit unlikely. They put two on the bottom with the preordain. Another songs. Okay, we're just gonna pass for now. All right, and it looks like our opponent's comfortable playing the land go game. Hey, so this gets us the other land out of the deck. Love that. Next up is drawing a pyroblast. Also, maybe a lotus petal could be good. Just so that way we could double black spell because I have a feeling they're going to try to counter spell songs of the damned. They play a hawk. I believe Pyroblast off the top will win here. They choose not to play a Dawnbringer cleric. Okay. There's nothing in our deck for this land grant. What to do? What to do? What to do? So if you. Here's the issue I could cast the Grim Harvest, getting back a Street Wraith the cycle, but if our opponent kills the tinder wall i lose my grim harvest for the rest of the game that's the way recover works so playing grim harvest is actually super risky i think i'm going to just pass here and we'll discard a destroy the evidence our opponent attacks for one sure thing journey to nowhere i'm going to respond to that being cast sacrifice the tinder wall I think they have to exile their own Squadron Hawk now. Yeah. All right. I am going to Grim Harvest back a Street Wraith. It could hurt me, but I think we want to try to draw into a Pyroblast to create a winning opportunity. Nope. Okay. Point it with seven cards. We drew both land grants. The Magic Gods hate us. And this makes seven. I'm just trying to think out loud here. So I have 10 mana. So I could Songs of the Damned. And if they let it resolve, I could Spy. They could Counterspell the Spy and then we could win. So it, it all banks on the Songs resolving. All right, let's try it. Songs of the Damned. It does not resolve. And we are forced to pass the turn. Not having another Black Source here in the form of like a Lotus Petal or a Wild Cantor is kind of brutal. The previous game, our opponent waited to counterspell the spy, so it was a tough read. The Modern Age. And we're back to needing two different things to win now, which is tough, because this one Songs of the Dam doesn't win. You need a Songs post-spy, and we don't have that. Draw. Dark Ritual. So that could win if our opponent had nothing. I'm going to pass. Discard a Land Grant. Sacred Cat down. And a hawk. 
So once again, they're leaving open Counterspell mana. And we can't beat a Counterspell at the moment. Abundant Harvest. We'll say non-land. Cycle Street Wraith down to 9 life. Dark Ritual. We'll go to cleanup. Goodbye, Land Grant. Opponent plays another Brainstorm. And it's worth noting that their Modern Age became a Vector Glider. Tons of available mana here. Another Hawk. Our best draw by far is a Pyroblast. We are over a third of the way through our deck and have not found one yet. They're going to attack for one. I'll fall to eight. Next turn, they're attacking for four. But if they're holding uh, the gate land, we're just dead. Founder's Bobble. That was an interesting draw. Dark Ritual. What about another Dark Ritual? Okay. I'm going to attempt a Songs here. All right. Spy. They're going to let me target myself. So if they have a counter spell here, they're playing it very well. Okay. Let's Conjurer's Bobble. Target a Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs of the Damned. Draw from the Cellar. Getting back Demir Houseguard. And then we'll cast Demir Houseguard. And now we'll sacrifice the Spy, which triggers the Harvest. Yes, I would like to pay the three. We'll auto yield to this trigger. Grim harvest back the mirror retriever. Play the mirror retriever. And now we'll sacrifice the retriever. This creates two different triggers. And we will grim harvest again. Play the conjurer's bobble. This time we will get back songs of the damned. Play the songs. All right, and I think we just go through the loop over and over again at this point. All right, so at this point, I've executed the loop a few times, and now we're going to start trying to win the game. So we're going to cast songs here, and after that, we'll start spying. All right, so this will bring us up to plus 80 mana. We'll play another copy of Spy. And you might be saying, why not go for the Hunt and Misery win? Prismatic Strand stops that, and our opponent's holding open Prismatic Strands. So... Not interested in losing to that. I will bring back another spy. And they left in strands. There's one right there in their graveyard. Target them. Auto yield to this trigger. Destroy their land. We'll now sacrifice a spy. Get back a spy. We're only at nine minutes. Like we're gonna need to use Haunting Misery for game three. Target our opponent. Like, we've activated this loop three times and we've milled like five cards. Sacrifice a spy. This is one of the downsides of playing this deck online. In paper, you could announce the infinite loop and it wouldn't take very long. Hey, and they conceded. That was very nice of them. Cool. Game three. I actually felt the pressure of not having the Cabal Rituals in the deck that game. Kind of want them in now. Maybe take out the Wild Cantors and just accept that I have a couple less creatures in the deck. Let's submit this. I mean, they left in removal specifically for Wild Cantor, so um, I don't know. All right, so we have a way to find our first land. We have a spy. I'm into this. They play a gate. Ooh, generous sense. So now we can get both of our lands. Abundant Harvest, we'll say land. Play the Mire, pass the turn. Eight minutes on the clock. They play another gate. Will you draw? Demon Spear Guide is fine. We'll cycle. Both lands out, we'll play the ridge past the turn. Two white. Alright, our opponent's tapping out. If I draw a dark ritual, we have a win. Dark ritual, and I think maybe Cabal Ritual does it too. I'm not as positive on that one, but I'm pretty sure it does. Lotus Petal might also work. Like, we have 12 hits that I can think of here. Draw. Okay, so we have the win. But we have to win in, through the Prismatic Strands because of the, the Hawk. Because we can't Haunting Misery them. Cabal Ritual. Spy. Turn 3 win. Target ourselves. Songs of the Damned. Play the House Guard. Sacrifice the Spy. And now I have 7 minutes to execute this. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> okay. Auto Yield. Get back our Mirror Retriever. Wherever it is. There it is. Play the Mirror. Sacrifice it. Now we get back Conjurer's Bobble, Auto Yield, 7 minutes on clock, and our opponent concedes!
seeds. Yes. All right. That was match number one. We are 1-0. We beat a blue deck. Pretty awesome to see. I hope you enjoyed it. A lot of clicking, but we got there, and that's what I like. So you got to see the power of generous event in the first match at getting that second land out consistently. Love that. And let's go win match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. On the play in match number two, big fan of being on the play. Uh, yeah, so we get to thin both of our lands, and I have Spy already. This hand is amazing. What this hand needs now is a Songs of the Damned or a Conjurer's Bobble. All right, our opponent has taken a mulligan. We will land grant, grab the Haunted Mire, play the Haunted Mire, and then we're going to cast the other land grant to pull out the forest. Pass the turn. So we're looking to draw Conjurer's Bobble or Songs of the Damned off the top rope. We have eight hits. Basic Mountain. Okay. Looks like they're on red. Another Wild Cantor. A little awkward. Play the Cantor. And another Cantor. We'll pass. The opponent plays a Great Furnace and then Chain Lightning on my Cantor. I'll sacrifice it and make a red. Godolta Rebirth. So I am unable to block their Blast Runner now. But it's worth noting a Cabal... I'm sorry. A Songs of the Damned off the top would still win the game on our turn. Not going to block. Come on, Doc. Pretty please. Songs of the Damned. Let's see it. That's actually pretty good. That means that a Cabal Ritual could work. I don't hate that. But I need enough... I need to get up to 7 mana. Right now we have... Uh, 5. So Dark Ritual would work as well. I have to pass. They have three cards. The Ball Ritual only has five cards in Graveyard for Threshold, so I would actually need more than just Cabal Ritual. So Dark Ritual is the perfect draw at the moment. Or Songs. No blocks. I'm going to take four. Ouch. 13 life. The Reckless Impulse. Okay, come on, deck. Pretty please. Dark Ritual, Songs of the Damned. Lotus Petal. So that means that we are now one mana short. I have to pass. It leaves a lot of draws that win the game next turn, but I would need my Wild Cantor to live. They play Ren's Resolve. They hit Mountain Chain Lightning. So if they Chain Lightning my Wild Cantor, I am going to be back down to two mana being the, the magic number. They play an Epicure instead. Okay, we're one mana away. I'm at 12 life. They're about to attack for four. We can do this. Okay, I'll go to eight. Come on, deck. One mana is all we need. There we go. All right, exile spirit guide. Exile spirit guide. Make a black. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. And this is why having 25 creatures matters here, because there's some games where you have to exile Simeon spirit guides, and you need to have enough. So we'll target ourselves. So we have two creatures in exile, one in play, one in hand. So that is five. So I should have 20 creatures in my graveyard. I'm sorry, 21. Let's uh, look at a Songs of the Dam just to make sure. 21. Okay, and now we will cast Haunting Misery. We have to exile every creature, but this should get the job done. Haunting Misery, target you. Let's slide up the graveyard so we don't miss anything. All right, so we've selected 21 creatures. We will now click Done, and Haunting Misery will deal 21 damage to our opponent. It is damage. That is why we cannot do this last turn through the Prismatics, or last game through the Prismatic Strands. Boom. All right, we stole game number one from Mono Red. Now we need to get a post-board game. I like bringing in the extra copies of Haunting Misery, and I like the Engagers as well. We would need the wood line, or Wooded Ridge Line for the ingot chewers so board out the forest which makes us a little bit slower board out the wild cantors 65 let's take out destroy the evidence i think that card's just way too slow in this matchup and then we'll board out a couple copies of generous end 61 cards 
I'm worried about going any lower on creatures. All right, I'm going to try something a little different, actually. I'm going to try boarding out Abundant Harvests. Just because it's not a creature, we need to keep our creature count high. And I'll board out one Generous End. Yeah, so that's 26 creatures. Okay, so we get to thin our lands out of the deck. No Spy. But I mean, this transmutes for Spy. I'm going to keep it. Turn 1, Goblin Blast Runner. A Lotus Petal, Fine Draw. Land Grant. Grab the Haunted Mire. We'll play the Mire. Land Grant. Grab the Ridge Line. Pass the turn. The opponent plays a second copy of Goblin Blast Runner and Epicure. So next turn, they can guarantee sacrifice this Blood Token. And then they can attack for six. Seven with the Epicure. So they have a very fast clock for this game. And we ripped Spy. Wow. We just need a... Hold on. Actually, I have a turn three here. Assuming that our opponent doesn't interact with us, I have a turn three. Wow. Spy was the perfect draw there. They play third land. Adult the Rebirth sacrificing the Blood Token. And now they're going to attack for seven. I'll fall to 11 life. And they're passing. Pick Keeper... We have a lot of creatures in our hand, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right, so we will play Spy. We will trigger and target ourselves. Build that graveyard. We will now use Conjurer's Bobble to put a Songs of the Damned on the bottom of our deck, and then we'll draw a card. Okay, we will now make a black and Songs of the Damned for 21 mana. Cast the Demir House Guard. And now we'll play a Mirror Retriever. We will sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. This creates two triggers. We'll get back Conjurer's Bobble. Auto yield to some stuff here. Grim Harvest. I would like to pay that three mana here. And then auto yield to the regenerate trigger from Demir House Guard. All right. And now we can Conjurer's Bobble. And now we'll get back a Haunting Misery. Songs of the Damned says we have 22 creatures. That should be enough to win. Let's just cast the Misery. All right. Haunting Misery dealing 22 damage. Who's the burn deck now? And we are 2-0. I love it. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm sure there's plenty of great magic left in this league. Stick around. Watch match number three. I'll see you there. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Running hot with die rolls. We're in the third match and on the play once again. We have a way to thin both lands out of the deck. We have a win assuming we find spy. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. Play the land grant. I think I'm actually going to get the haunted mire and play it and pass. So you could grab the forest and then thin both lands right now. And that can give you a hypothetical turn to win, assuming you draw exactly Spy. But the odds I draw exactly Spy are pretty low. So I'm going to take a draw step to see if I draw a Generous Scent or another Land Grant before I use this. And actually, I just draw the, the, the Forest. So now we can use this to try to find an actual payoff. We have seven cards we'd like to hit with this. So we have the Forest Spy, the two um, Land Destruction ones, uh, Destroy the Undercity, and then the Demir House Guard. We'll say non land. We find another spirit guide. We have to pass. They play a barbed batter fist. So our opponent, at any point, assuming we draw a real card, is dead. All right, another harvest. Non land. Bobble. Play the bobble. This is a spot where we could cycle it just because we don't need it for Songs of the Damned. Okay, we're going to take three here 17 life. Land number three for a core sky fisher. I imagine that they're going to pick up the barbed batter fist because then they can create another creature next turn, increasing their clock. All right, Doc, give me the goods. Land grant was not the goods, I have to admit. All right, we'll cycle. 
but a harvest on the bottom. Another dark ritual. Brutal! Alright, we have to pass. They bolt us. We were going to fall to 14 life. Land grant to the graveyard. They have land number 4. They're going to attack for 4. I'll fall to 10. So if I don't draw something this turn, that might be the game. I'm at 10. They play another batter fist. So that represents 7 damage in next turn. So I'm dead to a lightning bolt. And a Lembas. Okay. Draw. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Exile some Spirit Guides. So this means that I'll have 22 creatures left in my deck. Cancel. Let's uh, destroy the forest. Okay. Oh no, I don't have any lands in my deck. Songs of the Dam for 22. Songs of the Dam for 22. And now we will crawl from the cellar. Getting back Pit Keeper. Pit Keeper happens. We have four creatures in our graveyard. We can now get back the Demir House Guard. Yes, I would like to use the ability. We'll cast the Pit Keeper. Or, I'm sorry, the Demir House Guard. And now we'll sacrifice the Pit Keeper. This will trigger our Grim Harvest. Yes. Regeneration Shield happens. Grim Harvest now gets back Mirror Retriever. Play the Mirror Retriever. We will sacrifice it. Mirror Retriever will get back Conjurer's Bobble. Grim Harvest happens. We will pay the three. We'll now play the Bobble. And get back the uh, Haunting Misery. I'm going to sacrifice the Demir House Guard to itself. Just so that way I have an extra creature in the graveyard. Target them. Alright, Haunting Misery for 22. Boom. Deck is feeling pretty good right now. That said, our opponent could have graveyard hate and we could get bit, so no uh, counting your chickens or anything like that. Bringing in Ingot Chewer, Hunting Miseries, take out the Wild Cantors, destroy the evidence. Although that card won us the game. Maybe I shouldn't be boarding it out. It's just so tough being like bringing in Hunting Miseries and Ingot Chewers. It's really tough to find the space. We can take out the forest, maybe some copies of Abundant Harvest again at 62 with 26 creatures. Maybe shave a couple Cabal Ritual instead of the Destroy the Evidence. We could try that. Although Cabal Ritual does play very well into the Haunting Misery line. I just don't know if you actually want to board out Destroy the Evidence or not. I did versus the blue deck, but I don't have strong opinions. This hand is very good. Very, very good. We need to find the other land, but this hand has everything. Turn one, Thraven Inspector. Draw for turn. We did not need to destroy the evidence. Cycle Street Wraith to see what I draw into. Dark Ritual. We'll cycle the Ent. You'll get Haunted Mire. Play it. I guess I still need a Conjurer's Bobble or Songs of the Damned that can make this hand better. I could also just draw the Haunting Misery. They play Relic. Okay, so I definitely want the Hunting Misery now. The Relic is a little annoying. That was a good draw. We'll land grant. Grab the Rich Line. In hindsight, you might be saying, why not get the Red Land on turn one? I didn't know my opponent was going to have a turn two Relic, despite having the Ingot Shore. And I mean, my hand has Spy and destroyed the Evidence. I could have won without needing this land. Well, I, I mean, I would have had to thin it, but I wouldn't have needed the mana from it if our opponent didn't have the relic. So that was my thought process. They play a synthesizer into a core skyfisher. They play a Craig. So them gaining life is good for them because if they exile these two creatures, I have 24 creatures in my deck and spy would be one of them in play. So they're almost to the point where haunting misery isn't good for me. Draw for turn. Harvest. We will evoke Ingature, make the sacrifice trigger happen after, so that way there's one less, there's one more creature in my graveyard. So with this, we go down to 24 creatures. The Ingature now sacrifices, and we can Abundant Harvest, non land. Beautiful hit. Okay. So Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual is five, Cabal Ritual is six. The ridge line is seven. 
So that's lethal next turn. For Skyfisher, they pick up the Synthesizer, play another Synthesizer. I think we're about to be 3 out with two land Oops and Pauper. Oops, Spy, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same stuff. 3 0. All right, so that's five. This is six. And then Spy happens. We have two mana floating plus the ridge. And now we haunting misery. Target you. X is currently 23. I am good with 23 damage. Hiya. 3 0. So that game we beat Relic and we had a turn four. That was pretty impressive. Uh, I feel good about this deck right now. I hope we get the next two. Let's go and find out. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw, and we've opened up a hand that can get lands, but we don't have an initial mana source, so we have to mulligan. Okay, so this hand seems fantastic. Keep, we'll get rid of the Tinder Wall. Let's party. Ooh, we're facing Demir Terror. I was hoping for more non-blue decks. This is kind of a bummer. We'll grab the basic forest, play the forest, cycle the Ent, and we'll go grab our Haunted Mire. We grab our land, pass the turn. Our opponent plays an island and passes. We draw another Harvest. Play it. Non-land because we don't have any lands left. Conjurer's Bobble. That's actually not terrible. It reduces the number of cards we need to win. So if our opponent messes up and gives us a window where they can only counterspell one thing, maybe it ends up being relevant. They scour themselves, hitting counterspell and deep analysis. Third land. They do not tap any mana. Let's harvest again. Non-land. Songs of the Damned. Okay. Play a Conjurer's Bobble and we'll pass. Sure. Yeah. I'm glad we drew out a Spell Pierce with that. Opponent, I am begging you to please tap out. It would be in your best interest. I promise. I would never lie to you. Never, ever. A Deep Analysis. Untap land. Ah. Okay. That hurts. Draw for turn. It's another Cabal Ritual. Let's cycle the Street Wraith. That gets us to six cards in Graveyard. And another Cabal Ritual. We'll just pass for now. If we could draw another Spy, I think maybe we could beat a Counterspell if they put themselves in a situation like this again, where they only have two mana up. Well, now they're guaranteed to have uh, a bunch of untapped mana next turn. Dermag Angler. So they have three available mana. Come on, deck. Be good. Not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, let's play Abundant Harvest. Non-land. Cycle Street Wraith. Mirror Retriever. That doesn't actually help me here. Alright, so we'll exile the Simeon Spirit Guide and see if they'll counterspell a Cabal Ritual. They do not. Let's cast another Cabal Ritual. Okay, so we will attempt to destroy the evidence on our forest. If this resolves, I think we can beat a counterspell after it. Unfortunate. Play out the Mirror Retriever. We could get back a Conjurer's Bobble and buy, uh, buy a turn by blocking. I think that's fine. The Mental Note, milling two other copies of Mental Note. They snuff out the Retriever. We'll get back Conjurer's Bobble. They have four cards in hand. They've used two counter spells so far, so there's two somewhere else in their deck. Generous Ent. That doesn't do a whole lot of good for us here. Play the bobble, but destroy the evidence on the bottom and we'll draw a card. Ah, uh, another generous scent. That was actually kind of stinky. Cycle, pass the turn. So I guess the upside there is that our Songs of the Dam make a little bit of extra mana. The opponent attacks, we go to six. We have four in hand. If it's not a counter spell, I mean, I could try to just play generous scent, but I mean, if they don't have counter spells, they have removal. And I feel like playing Generous Scent is actually kind of a trap. So we'll pass. And their deck actually has a lot of removal in it, by the way. There's Snuff Outs, Cast Down, Chainer's Edicts. Like, there's actually a lot of removal in there. 
Another copy of Gurmag Angler. Okay, Doc, this is our last shot. Okay, we have six outs. I don't know if I could actually make enough mana to win with House Guard, but maybe. Hey, we found Destroy the Evidence. All right, let's see if they counterspell the Cabal Ritual. Main deck to spell. All right, well, if they have nothing else, we have a win. Songs. Destroy the Evidence. Are we doing it? Songs of the Dam for 24? Oh, baby. Draw from the Cellar targeting Pit Keeper. At one life? Are we doing it? Pit Keeper will return. The Demir House Guard. Yes. Play the House Guard. Sacrifice the Pit Keeper. I will pay three. Auto yield here. Return the Mirror Retriever. Play the Retriever. Sacrifice it. Get back Conjurer's Bobble. I am not going to return Grim Harvest this time. Because we're just going to attempt to win with the Haunting Misery. Put Misery on the bottom. Now cast it at our opponent for at least 13. Alright, Haunting Misery for 23. We have stolen game number one from Demir Terror. Wow. Running hot. Bring in the extra land. Bring in the ingot chewer. Actually, I don't know if we want chewer. We definitely want pyroblast though. Looking at goldfish, a number of the most recent Demir Terror lists do not have any spell bombs or anything like that in their sideboards. So I wonder if we're supposed to not bring in Chewer. So I could leave in an extra land for consistency purposes versus the blue deck. But that means that we really need to leave in all three land searchers, I think. And what else are we taking out then? So I think you could take out the Wild Cantors. Those can definitely go. And now we need three more cuts. I think Destroy the Evidence is kind of a tough sell versus the uh, the deck that has all the interactions. So we can board those out. Now we're at 23 creatures, so we can't really afford to board out any more of those. Let's try one Cabal Ritual. Submit. I'm not usually used to boarding up to three lands. It could bite me in the butt. Wow, this hand is very good. Keep, keep, keep. It's worth noting that this hand does require us to find a way to search out that third land. Wow, that was also an amazing draw. Do you have a Spell Pierce for Land Grant? If they do, they don't want to use it. So we'll grab Haunted Mire. We'll play that and just pass the turn. So this could bite me in the butt. I boarded in that extra land, and now I don't have a win. Really hoping we draw into another land thinning effect. Draw for turn. Spirit Guide. Cycle the Ent. Grab the Wooded Ridge Line. We'll play that and pass the turn. They scour themselves. Deep Analysis. Tolarian Terror. It looks like there is passing with seven cards in hand. Okay, we found a way to thin out the extra land. So that means that if we draw into a Pyroblast next turn, I'm pretty confident in our ability to win the game. All right, so we got lucky. Let's play out the Tinderwall now. Saves us some mana. And they don't even have a Black Source to remove it. They brainstorm. Do you have a Lurian Revealed? They don't. They have a Mental Note. So they get rid of a Gurmag Angler and another Deep Analysis. Land number three, untapped. They play a Terror. Come on, Duck, give me Pyroblast, please. Let's go. Conjurer's Bobble. Cycle Street Wraith. Abundant Harvest. Non-Land. Ah, uh, Land Grant was a terrible draw. Play the Bobble. We missed a window here. You gonna counterspell a Conjurer's Bobble? All right, they let it resolve. Pass. I can't but wonder if another spy would have worked there too. We'll take five. We'll go to 13. They play an aquifier. Still three on tap mana. Songs. Put Street Wraith on the bottom and we'll draw a card. Ah, kidding me, Doc. What to do, what to do. I think I'm going to just pass. So... We're over 25% of the way through. Another Spy would have worked. A Pyroblast would have worked. But instead, we're rolling a little bit low on the variance. It happens. We go to 8. I also can't but wonder if I was supposed to just start casting some Eid Spirit Guides. Blockers. They play a Gurmag Angler. 
And a tap land. So they have five cards in hand. We'll draw Haunting Misery. So I'm going to attempt to play out a Spirit Guide. If they counterspell it, we could actually go for a win. They do not. I mean, why would they? We'll block the Angler, and then we'll go to three. They have six cards in hand, too. Five cards, and they're not casting deep analysis, so I'm pretty sure we're dead. Pyroblast is just way too late. All right, sacrifice the Tinder Wall. But how do we want to do this? Songs of the Damned. They let that go. Play Lotus Petal. Attempt a Spy. Maybe they'll let me deck myself. Some people do weird things. Attempt a Pyroblast. I mean, they have four on chat mana. The odds that this all resolves is insane. Spell Pierce. Pay for the Pierce. We'll respond to this. So I can pay using Simeon Spirit Guide. They have two cards. I think I'm supposed to respond with songs. If they have another spell pierce, we can pay for it, which is the reason we would make this play. Pay for the spell uh the spell pierce. Pyroblast and counter spell. Spy. Target us. Song says we have 21 creatures in graveyard. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide, Haunting Misery U. All right, Haunting Misery for 21. Does it resolve? 4-0 beating two blue decks. Let's go. I want this trophy so badly. Stick around and find out if it happens in match number five. Ah, oh, that was sweet. All right, I'm excited. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, fifth and final round, we're on the draw. All this hand needs is a spy. It's a little awkward because we have the basic forest as well as two land searchers, and we only really need one. So I'm going to keep this, but it's really a mulligan to six. Uh, another blue deck. I just wanted something easy. Another tinder wall. We'll just play the basic forest and pass. End step, they cast a brainstorm. I wonder if they have a Baron Moore or a Lorien Revealed to shuffle their library in their upkeep. They do not. They redraw one of the cards. On their end step, we will cycle the Generous Ent and go grab our Haunted Mire. Boop. Play the Mire. They might be fairies, and if they are, I don't want to play the Tinderwall into a Spellstutter Sprite, so I'm going to hold back. Okay, it's Demir Terror again. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if I should be thankful or aggravated. I don't know. They cycle Lurian Revealed for an ice tunnel. Okay. They have six cards in hand. Destroy the evidence. Okay. Play a Tinder Wall and another Tinder Wall. I mean, I could theoretically go for it here, right? Um, so Tinder Walls would make four mana. Songs of the Dam for three. Is this a window? If they have the one of Spell Pierce, they would get me, but I think that this would work here. They have the Spell Pierce, so now I have to figure this out. All right, so we could sacrifice both Tinder Walls. That would be four mana, pay for Spell Pierce. That would bring me down to three available mana. Song, Songs is seven. I believe that this wins. Sacrifice a Tinder Wall. We'll pay. So now we had two red. And then this would be seven. This works. Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. Destroy the evidence on my basic forest. Oh no, we don't have a library. What a shame. Play the bobble. Activate the bobble, targeting Songs of the Damned. Play Songs of the Damned. 25 mana. Hello. All right, so now we will crawl from the cellar on... Where's our Pit Keeper? There it is. Playing the one of Pit Keeper over the second crawl to the cellar, it is more mana efficient, but also it just gives you an extra creature for Songs of the Damned and Haunting Misery. I think that's a big enough reason to run a split of Crawl to the Cellar and the Pit Keeper instead of just two crawls. Play the Pit Keeper. Pit Keeper returning Demir Houseguard. 
Yes, I would like to use its ability. We will cast the Demir House Guard. Our combo of being black creatures is actually very relevant here because they're a snuff out deck. <laughs> and I think that's why our opponent hasn't hit the F6 key yet. So we're returning the Grim Harvest. We will uh, auto yield to our trigger. We can now Grim Harvest on the Mirror Retriever. Retriever. Sacrifice the Retriever. Retriever gets back Conjurer's Bobble. Sure, we'll return the Grim Harvest. Play the Bobble. Use Bobble, and now we'll get back Haunting Misery. Target the opponent. All right, 24 damage at our opponent's face, and we have stolen game number one versus Demir Terror. We are one game away from greatness. I am so excited right now. I really want this to happen. Ah, this deck is sweet. Wooded Ridgeline. Pyroblast come in. Okay, so, I mean, Destroy the Evidence won that game. Do I really want to be boarding it out? Wild Cantors can go out. They got a couple copies of Cabal Ritual. At 61. Brought out one Abundant Harvest. Let's try this. I love it. Keep, keep, keep. Our opponent has taken a mulligan. Turn one island and they pass the turn. Okay, we'll play the Mire. And I'm just going to land grant now. They can see that I don't have a whole lot right now, and I think that's fine. I guess they get to know about power Pyroblast, but I can live with that. A mental note, deep analysis, and a land. Island number two. We'll play the ridge line. Let's try a tender wall. Pass the turn. And step the brainstorm. All right, brainstorm's resolved. Do you have a mental note or anything like that? Lorraine revealed. Okay. They grab a black source with contaminated aquafire. Draw for turn. Dark ritual. We'll cycle the street wraith. I've been holding this abundant harvest in case I draw into another um card that would require me to like another land grant or a generous end something like that play the forest harvest again we're looking for a spy abundant harvest is resolved we'll say non-land we hit our spy yes okay so now we need a bobble or a songs of the damned they thought scour Ooh, they have nile spell bombs in their deck okay so if we lose this game we need to change our sideboard plan for game three they have five cards. This looks like a Gurmag Angler. And it is. They have four cards in hand. The Lotus Petal. Okay, so... I think we we're supposed to pass here. No blocks, I'll go to 13. They have five cards, they didn't do anything that turn. Ymir House Guard. Okay, that's interesting. I could go get another Spy. I think I'm just going to pass though. On their end step, I might Grim Harvest back a Street Wraith. Okay, I will take it. Ouch. E life. Point with five cards in hand. Grim Harvest attempt to get back Street Wraith. End step will cycle Street Wraith. I go to six. We found the bobble. Okay, that was a draw we needed. Land Grant is not good here. So the problem is that I have the Grim Harvest in the graveyard now, and I would have to pay three extra mana for that effect. So I don't think I can actually afford to jam here, unfortunately. We're going to have to pass. So I could go to one, or I could block and then sacrifice the Tinder Wall, pay to get the Grim Harvest back. I think that's probably the move. We'll block. And then I will sacrifice the Tinder Wall. And now the Grim Harvest triggers. Okay, so I have Grim Harvest back. We're still at six life. One with six cards in hand. They have not been playing spells. Another Pyroblast, please. Another Tinder Wall. Okay, let's play it. Pass the turn and we can discard this land grant. A mental note. Mills over two Thought Scour. I'll go to one. They have seven cards in hand. Not feeling too confident in our ability to win this one. Songs is interesting. Dark Ritual. I guess I should play Lotus Petal. Attempt a Spy. Pyroblast the Counterspell. They have six cards left. Spy. Another Counterspell. Okay. 
So if they have a removal spell for my Tinder while I'm dead, but they haven't used one previously, so who knows? They flashback deep analysis. They play a tap land. We will block. And then I will sacrifice Tinderwall and Grim Harvest back the spy. Okay. We remain at one. Opponent has seven cards in hand. Uh, they have spell bomb. They drew the spell bomb. All right, I think they got me. That was brutal. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can win this now. All right, let's just concede and go to the next one. Ah, oh, spell bomb was brutal. So we're supposed to bring in Ingachewers. I think I have to take out Destroy the Evidence now. I don't really have a choice. Maybe I don't need all four. Like, they might only have two spell bombs. Take out the fourth land grant. Let's try this. Game three for the 5 0. This hand doesn't have an initial mana source. It's so close. I think banking on Street Wreath is just a terrible decision. This hand is fine. We'll get rid of the Tinder Wall. Play Haunted Mire, Land Grant. Grab the Ridge Line, pass. So we need to find a way to thin out the third land, and then we need like a Dark Ritual or something like that. They have Turn 1 Spell Bomb. Not ideal. Play the Ridge Line and then the Bobble. Okay, they're just going to play Island Go. Songs of the Dam. I think we can pass here. A Mental Note, hit a Tolarian Terror. And a Lorraine Revealed. We need to find our Ingot Chewer. That's step one here. Dark Ritual. Unfortunately, with the Spell Bomb, I can't really do a whole lot about that. They Thought Scour. They mill over a Counter Spell. I'm a big fan of that. And another Scour. Milling over Tolarian Terror and a Spell Peer. We could, in theory, beat the Spell Bomb if I drew my Haunting Misery. And our opponent messed up, but... That's a lot of ifs. They play a terror. Another song. I'm just trying to think out loud here. So if I Dark Ritual, Spy, I would have Pyroblast. I'd have, in theory, Double. But I can't win at instant speed. That's the problem here. Like, we have a couple really strong ways to respond to the Spell Bomb via Songs of the Damned or Conjurist Bobble. But Haunting Misery is a sorcery. So I think I have to pass. We're just waiting for Ingot Chewer. And step they brainstorm. Now they attack for five. I go to 15. Another terror. Okay, things are not looking good. I guess I also need to find the, the third. We have to get the forest out of the deck too. I, I forgot about that. All right, I need to get moving. They have 10 power on the board. We're going to use the bobble. We draw a lotus petal. I forgot all about the, the forest being in the deck too. That's like really inconvenient. Pass. And step they brainstorm. And a mental note. They get rid of double Gurmag Angler. Land number four. They have six cards in hand. I'll go to five. I think the only way we can win this is if our opponent messes up at this point. Another spell bomb? Ugh. Alright, we are no longer winning this game. Zero percent. There was like a chance if our opponent messed up. Haunting Misery is interesting. Dark Ritual. I guess Haunting Misery gives us the outback. If our opponent messes up, maybe we could do it. Pitch the Spirit Guide. We'll play a Spy. Pyroblast their counter spell. They have a Hydroblast. We can't do anything. All right, so the Haunting Misery gave us a chance. We would have had to mill almost every creature left in our deck, but they had the interaction to stop us on top of the spell bomb. So unfortunately, only a 4-1. But, wow, this deck list was sweet. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I don't think I would make any changes. I know we didn't use the Fairy Macabres in this league, but we also didn't face any other combo decks. And you could play, like, additional copies of Dress or something, but you don't have enough cards to board in and out to have Pyroblast and Duress and Ingature and Haunting Misery all in a single given matchup. So you're better off spreading out your sideboard across several different archetypes instead of just trying to overload one. Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate that we lost to Demir Terra in round five, but that's magic. You can't win every round, uh, unfortunately. So 
thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck list or if there's anything I was missing. I'd happy, I'd be happy, thrilled to record with this again, actually. I loved it. So have a great day. Keep storming, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And after you've done that, go check out Eminence Gaming's Command Tower software. It is the perfect system for creating your own events. It doesn't matter if it's four player or one-on-one, -on -one, it's intelligent pairing system ensures that everything goes smoothly. Once again, go check that out at eminence.events.